So the next uh, group is the fart group and this is what I'm calling the meat and potato section of uh, the home tab. Uh, it does have a lot of different um, things that you commonly use. So we basically use the font group to change text properties. You can choose from options like the font size, font type, bold, italicize, underline, etc. In addition, you can highlight portion of your document and experiment with uh, different font colors also under the font group in Microsoft Word 2007. So let's say for our example we are going to change the heading technical summary in my resume to, mo to bold and also make it bigger. So let me first switch to my resume. So uh, the simple way to highlight text is to just essentially select it with your mouse or a shortcut is to select shift and then click on end. So coming up here, by the way if you haven't seen our first video lesson uh, let me quickly talk about these are the tabs up here in this new layout from Microsoft Word and on the bottom we have the group. So currently we already talked about the clipboard group we will be talking about the font group. So if I want to make this bold I'm going to go ahead and click on this so that changed it to bold and I will increase the size let's just say um, I think one point is enough so that's how I increase the heading for technical summary now the the last thing I wanted to mention here is using the format painter command we actually skipped over this one this was in the clipboard group uh, the whole idea behind this command is that you can copy the formatting from one spot and move it, uh, s use the same formatting in a different section. So let's first see it on here. So the way you do that is you select your text and then double click on this icon which invokes the functionality now you'll notice that it looks like a paintbrush and now I can just simply go wherever I need to apply that formatting. So it's a very nice feature to have that. Now this was using the mouse. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to do this and so you can use control plus shift plus C to select sort of like the source formatting and then you can use the uh, control plus shift plus V at the destination formatting. So let me switch back to Word and um, let me just uh, disable this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do Control Shift C and then let me go down all the way down to the education section. I will highlight this and then do control shift V. So uh, definitely a nice feature to have if you are trying to copy formatting and instead of messing around with well did you bold it, what font did you use, uh, you can simply uh, copy the source formatting to the destination spot. Moving on uh, there are some other things we can talk about under the font group. Uh, so for my resume I also feel that I need to emphasize the technical summary portion of my document. Possibly use a different font style. I can uh, click on the uh, font style drop down and then try of many of the different fonts available. So for our example I'm going to use the Franklin Gothic Demi font. Again switching back to my resume. Let me just go back up again. So in here, in order to emphasize this, I'm going to select the section, come up here to this drop down. Currently it's using Times New Roman. I will click on that and then maybe this is the one I wanted to highlight. So notice that now my uh, summary is definitely highlighted in my resume and the idea is to be more eye-catching so if somebody's looking at lots of resumes this information just should just stand out. 
Next, uh, I will want to uh, change the software skills section. It looks rather blah right now. And uh, how about adding a little font color to spice things up? So we can switch it to purple. And so it looks like I have a lot of skills here, but uh, we need to maybe change the color. So you just select this, go to uh, this command over here, click on the drop down. And I am looking for purple. I have different shades, so I think I will just use the baseline. Now my de uh, resume is definitely getting a little more um, formatting instead of the plain simple one that I began with. And finally uh, one thing that I find myself doing a lot is change formatting and then I want to go back to the original setting so you can use the command clear formatting in the font group to do that. The keyboard shortcut for this is control and spacebar so one more time We'll go back to the uh, top of the resume. So here you'll notice that I changed a few things. If I go back to the font group and click on this uh, icon that looks like an eraser, if I click on it, let me just uh, do a control A, which is going to select all my text, and then click on this. This will go ahead and remove all the formatting and switch back my resume to the original uh, setting. Sometimes that's handy in case you have made quite a bit of changes and then uh, you want to go back to the original uh, way of 